Well, howdy, y'all. Might have been a couple few, three weeks, something like that, but I'm back. And guess what? I got some news for you. Let me put y'all on a stand so I can just flash all the good news. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. Mayhem's Fab Lab shirts, right there. We have them in sizes, I believe, small, medium, large, and extra large right now. Uh, we did like an introductory order just to see if there's any interest, and uh, we wanted to get kind of uh, get the round round steps going. So, uh, introductory price. $25 a shirt. I think that's reasonable. Um, you know, looking at other YouTube guy shirts, that's like, you know, they're 30 ish looking like about. So, these things, they're made by Canvas, or the, the shirt is a Canvas shirt. Super soft, super comfy. Uh, this is a medium. A little bit tight on my frame. Uh, I usually wear a large. I just happen to start off with medium. But hey, we got small through extra large. If you need bigger than that, let me know. Holler at me down in the comments if you want one, and I'll get you hooked up um, with uh, the PayPal and all that stuff. But uh, let's get to, move, to pff, the movie. <laughs> let's get to the the show okay howdy y'all welcome to the mayhem's fab lab channel howdy y'all do y'all remember this video Cummins owners. Ah. Well, golly gee willikers, I became one of them. Idiot! Yep, check it out, guys. Oh, the hood's already up. Oh, no. Ah. No, I was just checking underneath the hood. Checking everything out. Got one of them there, air intake modules. Yeah, mm-hmm. Um, got the blacked out headlights. I'm not sure how I feel about that yet. She's pretty clean. Steps are gonna go. The steps right here, they're gonna go. Believe it or not, even though I'm an off-road guy, the 35s and the leveling kit are gonna go. Uh, she's fairly stock though. Um, I mean, she's got the air intake. According to the previous owner, never had a tuner on it. You know, I hope that's true. I don't really have a way to check that. But she's just a good looking rig. So, one of the reasons that I bought this rig here is because look at this. Look at the rockers. Now, this right here uh, is for the 35s. The previous guy had to trim a little bit. Whoa. So, I'll have to figure something out there. I'm not sure how that's going to work. But, otherwise, this girl is clean, brush-free. That's why I bought it. Like... I was looking for a couple, I went and looked at a couple new trucks, or a couple trucks, and I'm like, you know, golly gee willikers, rust free means something different to a lot of people. To some people, rust free means the top of the roof doesn't have rust. 
and the rest of the body does. To some people, rust free means I've replaced every body panel on the truck so it's no longer rust free. But, jeez, who peats, man. So, but, help me out. I don't know. I gotta figure out a name for this girl. She ain't too bad either. Look at this. Nice interior. Need to get me some of them there floor mats for it. But it's got uh, the Laramie leather seats. Um, so this is an SLT. So these seats were swapped in. Um, I mean, stock radio. She's, she's pretty clean. I mean, look at the rockers. I mean, just look at them. I mean, dear Lord. Top of the bed. I mean, you can feel underneath here. Not a lick of anything. It's just, whew. She's a pretty girl. 2,000 years later. So, y'all, whew. After a few weeks here, having this pupper dog here, did a little bit of some modifications, just a little bit, okay? So what we did here, let's turn you all around here. We got some 4th gen wheels on here with some 285-70 Cooper Discover Rugged Trex. I like them. They're pretty nice tires. The, the, I bought them used. The guy had them for six or 8,000 miles, and then he wanted to go to 35s, so that's how I got these. Um, what else did I do? Oh, I took off the, uh, the spacer thing. Um, so when I bought it, oh, hold on. All right, got the hood open here. When I bought it, the steering box and the steering pump were leaking. So, I don't know if we can... Yeah, there you go. I got a redhead steering box down in there. Got a new steering pump. Um, this past weekend, this is Labor Day, this Labor Day weekend, I put a, a new clutch fan in it, new water pump, um, new thermostat. Just, I call it the mayhem tune-up, where you just do the stuff that... This truck has 200,000 miles on it. it. When it has 200,000 miles on it, if it's the factory stuff, I mean, it's probably still good. But I, I'm going to be towing and all that stuff with it. The guy never towed with this before, so I just, I want to have it done right, you know? And then here's the other thing that I did. These right here came with the truck because the guy had these in it, and then he went to the smoked headlights. I am much more of a fan of this. I gotta get them aimed right and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, there's the uh, there's the old headlights. Here's the new ones. I still I'm thinking that I might want to get some like projector, like maybe do a projector retrofit or something like that into here. But uh, not positive on that. I do need to get new. Um, after looking over it more, I need to get. At least more new fog lights. These ones are all cracked. Uh, got a nice little dent the bumper here. This thing the jiggy's going. This one's definitely cracked. Yeah, she's definitely cracked. But I'm thinking I might be getting some hot rod fog lights for that baby. Something like uh, I believe it's CJC Off Road has some pod brackets, and then you get some. Uh, it's either rigid dualies or vision x nice led pod lights that's what i'm gonna do i think so but there she is in all her glory she's turning out to be all right still haven't figured out her name for her still haven't got these darn ugly steps off of it but uh yeah she's she's doing good so hit me up in the comments what should I name this thing? I've had, I've, th I've thought about like gray matter, like my daughter is in love 
with Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. So maybe Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, because it's, you know, smokey mokey, you know, that stuff. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, or along the name of, or the Chitty Chitty Bang Bang theme, Caractacus. I don't know. Come on, hit me up in the comments. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And I'm um, getting back to work on the Jeep here. So uh, we're going to start getting some videos out. Peace. Goodbye.